Hi, welcome to this week's edition of Kitchen Science. Uh, this week we're going to be making stalactites, which are the spikes that hang from the ceiling in caves. Okay, so all you need is two uh, conical flasks if you have them, um, two mugs or glasses will be fine, some string, water, salt and food colouring. So all you do is you're basically just dissolving all the salts in the water quite a lot as you can see and then just keep stirring it until it's dissolved. It's kind of cloudy at the moment but eventually it will go a little bit more see through. And then I'm choosing red. Uh, red worked really well when I did it last time but obviously do any, any food colouring you want. There we are, good slug. Okay. Now what's left to do is put these on a plate. Plate's really important because it's going to catch the drips. And then... Cool. And then all you need to do is dunk the string in at both ends. And what you're aiming for is a slight sort of dint in the middle. So what's going to happen is the water with the salt is going to travel up the string. When it reaches the bottom, the water will start dripping, just like in a cave. And as it drips, little particles of salt will be left behind and they'll slowly form the stalactite. After a couple of weeks, the salt will have crystallised around the string and that stalactite will have formed as the water was dripping from the string onto the plate. A really cool consequence of this experiment is the crystals of salt that form on the plate underneath. You can see these perfect red squares of crystallised salt. It's really cool when you think that this is just made from salt, water and food colouring. But how are these perfect squares formed? I'm going to explain with oranges. Salt, or rather sodium chloride, is an ionic compound made of atoms with charges, otherwise known as ions. We've got sodium ions, which are positive, and chloride ions, which are negative. One sodium ion floating around in the water, one chloride ion floating around in the water. They're going to be attracted together and they're going to stick. If another chloride ion were to pass by, it's going to be attracted to the sodium. If we repeat this process of ions randomly floating through the water, you'll begin to see how these perfect straight lines of salt crystals form. But this is a 3D world. So it's not just one layer, it's many layers. In fact, there's gonna be trillions and trillions of layers of ions. Hang on a minute that come together to form perfectly cubic salt crystals. That's not quite perfect. Have another look. Oh, hang on. Perfect. <laughs> Do you want to have another look? <laughs> look what is wrong with me? Never play pool or snooker with your teacher. <laughs> plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, yeah. minus, minus, plus, minus. Yeah, perfect. A perfect salt crystal. So this is the finished result. It took about three weeks for this to happen, so be patient with it. Um, but once you've got that fully formed uh, salt crystal, that stalactite, um, make sure you take a picture and share it with me on Google Classroom. Happy sciencing.